Welcome to Pub Talk, the unofficial official craft beer podcast of Oklahoma, where we're all about the three B's, beer buddies and bullshit. I'm Michael, and with me as always is a guy who I would normally say something about here and then make it rhyme, but today is 420 and I lost track of time. Jeremy? Hey, yo. On today's show, we'll talk about our recent trip to Vortex Alley uh, and our chat with Dave Thomas and Matt Sullins, plus probably a few updates about local craft beer. If you like what you hear today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button whenever you listen. Nope, not whenever, probably wherever you're listening to us right now. And show us some love on social media at Pub Talk Podcast. All right, let's get in the first round. You know, they brew 10,000 bottles of beer a day. I drink 45 off the assembly line, and I'm the asshole. Insert bong hey, I'll take that here. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that little fuck up. I thought that was going to take me like five times. <laughs> uh, happy oh, shit. morning, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Haven't smoked yet today, but uh, I've had some edibles. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Same time. Except the bong noise, I guess, yeah. doesn't apply. But... Oh, that'll happen. <laughs> I just didn't want to be too fucked up before we started. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, so... What are you drinking today? I already forgot where we were at. We're at the uh, beginning. We hadn't done nothing yet. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm drinking, uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about how I got this beer later. But I'm drinking a beer from uh, consensual. Or, or, <laughs> I'm drinking a beer from Storm Peak Brewing. Um, it's from Steamboat Springs, Colorado. It's called Consensual Chocolate. It's a strawberry chocolate stout. That's awesome. And yeah, it's a fucking phenomenal name. Um, 7% alcohol. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much more there is to say about it. Uh, it's strawberry puree and coconut nibs and a fucking beer. It's uh, it says it's crafted to reduce gluten, which I, I could have guessed. It's just kind of, kind of thin, but yeah, um, yeah so oh and and the uh no stop for you glass here all right I'm, i love those fucking party glasses man so i've had i had two cans of this i had one last week drank it pretty quickly um because it was i think it was friday and it was it had been a long day and i just down hatch um this one's been warming up for a little while. And it's drinking much better than that one did. Um, I can taste the strawberry. I can taste more of the, the chocolate flavor than I could when I had it on Friday. So that was my mistake because I wasn't sure if I liked this or not on Friday. So I'm glad I saved this other one and I'm glad I let it warm up a little bit because, uh, yeah, I get a lot of strawberry on the nose. Um, I get great strawberry and chocolate flavor on it. Uh, now this warmed up a bit. It's fucking smooth as shit. It's, uh, it goes down easy uh, at 7% and a little thinner than some stouts. Um, so, you know, you could have a couple of these and not be too fucked up. Um, now, rating wise, I think the name pushes me a little bit higher uh, than maybe I would have been otherwise. Um, I'll, I'll put it just over the cusp before like a 4.03 or something. I don't. Yeah, sounds awesome. That name. That's ridiculous. What is going on out here? There's a cat outside my window. Um, well, I am drinking a beer from uh, 450 North Brewing. It is their granddaddy purple slush slushy XL. It's got little samples appropriate. There. It's from that uh, uh, hop culture, uh, juicy brews, virtual festival pack thing that they had. Okay. Uh, I bought it. I mean, not really for the festival. I just wanted the beer, to be honest. Okay. Um, and uh, I'll speak of hop culture. This is the glass that was with it. It's kind of, it's all trippy and weird and shit. Um, but I've been wanting, I've been wanting to try 450 North um i i do like the slushy beers 
I just can't drink more than one at a time um, just because they're so fucking potent. Um, this it's a smoothie style Berliner pomegranate, strawberry and blackberry. It I don't see an ABV, but it can't be very high. No, that's slushy very be very high at all. Um, but it's really fucking good. Uh, I figured it would be with people losing their goddamn minds over trying to get it and the prices they pay and shit for it, which I'm just not willing to do. So <laughs> when I saw it, it was at the pack. Uh, one of the reasons I got it, one of the main ones, um, when you pour it, it's just, you can see it's just thick with the fucking, all the fruit and shit in it and just floating in the, in the glass. Um, seeing as I have partaked today, uh, the, the fruit's going down extra nice. It's a, uh, it's real, it's real fucking sweet though, man. Um, part of the reason I can't drink more than one of these, this style normally with all the fruit and shit, um, super sweet. Uh, I might not even be able to finish this entire can because it's a little, little too much. Good flavor though. Close your eyes and open your throat. Yeah. That'll probably happen. So it's advice I was given at some point. <laughs> but it is good. It's good. Not worth what people pay for it. Right. Did you rate it? Hmm. No. I think you did. Okay. I got distracted I, by my fingertips being cold. It's like fucking 30 degrees outside on April 20th. It's ridiculous. That's yeah, fucking stupid. Um, I'm going to give it 420 just because that's uh, today. Okay. It, I do enjoy it quite a bit. But fuck, man. It's all in there. That's what she said? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'll go ahead and talk real quick about how I got this beer. Um, so I decided... I think I got a targeted ad on Facebook or Instagram where I saw it in a beer group maybe or something. I decided to try out a beer subscription box called Beer Drop. Right on. Um, basically, you know, it, it's 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 seems to be mostly Colorado beers. I think that's where they're based out of. Um, but it lets you pick, you know, and you can select different tiers. There's like a it, it lets you pick five beers, two cans of each. Um, each month and there are different tiers. And if you, um, you know, want more tap room exclusive type stuff, you upgrade your membership. And if you want only tap room exclusive stuff, you upgrade it again. The basic plans, more of the widely distributed stuff. But, uh, so I, I kind of did the middle entry so that I get some stuff from the tap room, but also some stuff that's like the people's flagship beer. Cause I, I like knowing, um, both sides of the coin and, uh, I don't know, having been to Colorado, well, it's not recently anymore because COVID, but it was recent before travel kind of got shut down. Um, uh, I, I don't know. I'm very interested in that beer scene and going back there and stuff. But uh, yeah, I, it, it's been cool so far. Uh, I've only done one month of it. I, my second month just came last night for me to like pick out my beers and see if there's anything I wanted to swap and that kind of thing. Um, and uh, I mean, I even got a beer stat beer for those that are, including me that are big fans of that brewery. I was able to get their Hellas. Um, yeah, I've had some good shit uh, already. And I'm looking forward to just, you know, especially with this baby coming, I know I'm not going to be making out of state beer runs anytime soon. And I know like I may not be getting out of the house as much as I was uh, socially and stuff. Bring that beer to me. All right. So what was it again? Beer what drop again. Beer drop. Yeah. Right on. I think the plan I'm on is about uh, it's like 55, 60 bucks, something like that. Uh, you know, and 10 beers, out of state beers, some of them, you know, pretty, um, pretty good sized cans, like 16 ounce cans. And I mean, that one's 7%. Some of them were a little higher, some of them were a little lower. So I think you get your money's worth. That's shipping and everything. So that's awesome. I've seen that beer stop starting to pop up a lot in those groups, like beer meal groups and shit. I've been tempted. I hear so much, so many good things about it. I mean, we had the shit here. I mean, not shit, but had it here at that festival. But yeah. Yeah, it's not the same. It's not yeah. the same. 
uh, the tap, that, that tap room. And I mean, and I was in there two years or so ago when it was, it was like a fucking Tuesday night or something and there wasn't much going on. Uh, but it was awesome. Uh, yeah. I, anybody that's going to the Denver area should check that out. And it's just great, clean loggers. She said that how many times that fucking panel I make loggers. An awesome amount. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you do. You make the fuck out of loggers. <laughs> uh, good times. Well, should we before before I get sidetracked and uh, get to do it because I've thought about doing it the last couple episodes. I think we should talk about this is episode two ninety six, right? We've talked about our 300th episode coming up, the beer we're doing, Broken Arrow Brewing Company. That'll be released in the next few weeks. Um, we teased a little bit, I guess, two episodes ago now. It's not a stout, holy shit, um, which I'm not going to lie. We tried to make it a stout, and that, that wasn't in the cards this time, so we'll do that down the line. But uh, I was going to was gonna tell people what kind of hops went in this motherfucker. I don't, because I, I don't remember. <laughs> I, I wrote them in my notepad. <laughs> <laughs> so five different hops are going into this ipa that we're doing with broken arrow uh it's chinook mosaic calypso wakatu and bravo hops so fuck yeah start salivating they and smell think, awesome and i think we're going to do a little bit of a variant on a couple kegs too with some pineapple that hasn't happened yet but i, I believe that's the plan so Start salivating, keep your eyes peeled, social media for, for them and us, and we'll, we'll definitely let you know when the release date is. Can't wait. Be sometime in May. So what has happened? We did a spotlight episode. We did. That was a fun one. It was. It was different. Yeah. New. Back at Vortex, not in November. I know what's going on 2021. Yeah. Uh, but it was awesome. Yeah, Matt reached out to you about doing an interview with him and the new stuff that he had going on was awesome. It was good times. Yeah. Well, and it's always anytime we can help spread the, you know, good word of adopting dogs and saving animals. That's, that's awesome. That's the Lord's work. Right. So it's, uh, and, and, that wasn't a religious reference. Just it's good work. <laughs> uh, I feel like I got to stuff. Um, yeah, I bet you confused a bunch of people there, though. <laughs> I, like, I think I probably did. That's why I was like, I better back. <laughs> <laughs> I listened too much Kevin Smith over the years and said those. Right. Are the um, but yeah, I uh, I checked in with Matt uh, last week and. Uh, you know, a few days after the episode and Damon Weasel's doing great fitting right in. So that's awesome. That's the dog. Man, here. I was fight, fighting, not trying to adopt the, that other one, man. The Black dog one. looked yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I and mean, they posted about it like the next day too, or a couple days after that. Really cool. Really cool stuff. Yeah. And that beer was really good too. Yep. Yeah, we had several great beers there at Vortex. I, anybody that hadn't been out there that's ever, you know, thought about it and hesitated because maybe you think it's too far away or whatever, it's it's worth the trip. It's a it's a cool a cool vibe in the tap room. Great beer, uh, you know, good people. I I drive there before I go to a lot of breweries that are closer. That's all I'm saying. Is that backwards? Because your opener. camera is not gonna yeah webcam. It's not backwards for me. That's the important thing. I was wrong. I'm going to finish this whole thing. Sure. For what it's worth, I, I, I didn't say I was drinking this in first round because I'm trying not to get to it, but I know I will. I also have my crowler of the rye honey rye from Ivory Bill that I haven't opened yet. That's almost 10%. I keep looking at that one and then I keep looking past it. <laughs> I just haven't been able to drink my fridge right now that I've not had yet. So it's it's probably happening. Plus it's cold and high ABV and cold seem to go together. 
Right on. Um, yeah, I guess here I'm going to bring my screen up because we've got stuff to talk about. Yeah, there we go. Technology and shit. So this is uh, from 405 Magazine, but it's been posted all over social media. Um, Craft funny. Brewers Association of Oklahoma uh, just did a class. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, they just did a collaborative brew, uh, finally. Brewers Reunion. Uh, that's the name of the beer. So nice little picture of everybody there and stuff. Which I'm, I'm, I, I was looking at this earlier and I couldn't, I couldn't concentrate long enough. And I don't think everybody's in the photo, no. but uh, I was like, Hey, there's several former guests there. Yeah. I had frenzy and twisted spike and I don't know. Yeah. There's some, there's some others there. I think I see big anyway. Um, yeah. I mean um, for those that don't know, uh or haven't been following along that beer is uh it's a hazy ipa around six and a half percent um i think it's going to be released at like something like 28 tap rooms here pretty soon um so yeah keep an eye out for that that should be cool it's it's cool to see them actually doing something um you know like this with the cbao yeah been a minute It's awesome getting to look at stuff, <laughs> too. Do what? Oh, it's awesome yeah. getting to look at stuff too. Having to bring up sharing the screen. Yeah. Well, I've got like three more. So, well, let's do them. Okay. <laughs> so Tulsa Oktoberfest is coming back, twenty first through twenty fourth. 2021 um you know it's just a little message here on their website right now but it's basically that they were closed last year because of covid and looking forward to doing it in 2021 safely and stay tuned i'm so fucking excited for that can't even imagine it <laughs> like that actually happening that's wild yeah well and you know and i i've become an old man and you know, I, I don't enjoy going on Friday or Saturday night anymore. Um, it's hard for me to imagine what a Friday or Saturday night would look like or feel like now. I mean, I'm assuming there would still have to be some sort of precautions in place by then, but I, I mean, I don't know, maybe not, but, uh, I'm looking forward to going like Thursday night. <laughs> um, let's see. And then I guess I don't have to stop sharing to switch tabs, but um, TCBI coming back this year. I'm, I'm betting you've got that one in your notes too. Yep. Uh, it's got a date. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> 20 year anniversary is September 11th. <laughs> I mean, it's awesome. I, you know, I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's just that's. It might feel a little weird, like partying <laughs> that, that day, but. Huh. What? Okay. Hey. Inter interesting. Yeah. Well, I mean, for those that don't know, it's a it's a uh, beer festival. <laughs> it's now been two years ago since the last one, put on by High Gravity in their parking lot there at like 68th Memorial. Um, and they encourage brewers to bring like one-offs or at least rare, more rare beers. Uh, and they compete against each other and people can vote on it and everything. Um, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I remember who won <laughs> the last one. I have no fucking clue. We were so, I mean, we felt a responsibility to try all the beers so that we would be educated when we voted. And that led to bad things. 
and do the speed run at the end to try to get as many as you can before, uh, before especially the home brews yeah <laughs> yeah because hey. they, do, they do an award for commercial brewery and then for home brewers uh winner for each and uh god so what I'm saying is plan on not driving to that. <laughs> um, oh, I remember getting picked up now and like Ashley pulled up the fucking milky <laughs> gallon. What are you doing? Remember that? Good times. Yeah, I remember having to tell my uh, Lyft mm-hmm. driver basically like, no, I'm over here. And they're like, I'm right here. Oh. <laughs> uh, that was fun. And then I was going to bring up this virtual beer festival. Um, it's up again. Yeah. Uh, this one's the Queer Beer Fest. Uh, it's happening June 5th as far as like the virtual festival part of it. But uh, I went ahead and bought this box. Um, it's basically... It? Yeah, let's scroll down here. So it's basically uh, breweries that are either... Uh, brewers or owners or whatever that are LGBTQ plus or um, you know that the beer is is brewed in their honor or that kind of thing so we've got Sam Adams uh, and of course these beers I think are subject to change still because they've been mailed out but Sam Adams doing a um, Love Conquers Ale Blackberry Basil Lime Goza New Belgium with a uh, Mimosa Sour uh, Mountains Walking Brewery uh, Tray chocolate smoothie sour, which sounds crazy and awesome. Uh, Mars Community Brewing Gay IPA. All right. Uh, Lady Justice Brewing with an IPA. Collective Arts with a NEPA. Uh, DC Brow with a German style hef. Uh, Almanac with a Love Hazy IPA. Dorchester. Uh, a double IPA in Brooklyn Brewery with a Stonewall and IPA. So I admit that several of these are larger breweries and I would have liked to have seen more uh, small, smaller breweries participating in this, but um, I don't know when I saw the purpose behind the festival and stuff, I, I couldn't help myself. Um, awesome. Something to look at if you're into the, um, the virtual festival thing. How do I stop sharing? There we go. <laughs> yeah, those were the things I had screens for. Yeah. Only thing I had different um, was since the last time we, our remote episode, um, Mad Hopper Brewing popped back up and they have a place. Um, where's that? 917 West Britain. I'm assuming that's Oklahoma City. I don't, I don't know that. Yeah. Okay. Um, they post a picture of of the building. Fucking awesome. I worried for a second there. <laughs> like, a just, second. Yeah. It's been about a year since I've seen shit from them. Yeah. I was just talking to Buck about that when uh, he was in Oklahoma City, or I mean, when he was in Tulsa from Oklahoma City uh, a week or two ago. It's like. You know those guys? Is everything good? And he hadn't heard anything either. So I think that's a surprise to a lot of people. Awesome. Yeah. I was going to see new stuff. Yeah. I was see, you know, stuff happening. Well, yeah. And I I would have hated to um, see another brewery close down. I mean, one that I actually liked stuff from, too. Not like Nine Band. Fuck on. I hadn't said it in a while. <laughs> I think, I think that's kind of it for right now. We've been cranking these out a little bit faster, so there's not as much to talk about. But I will throw out, um, probably by the time you're listening to this, we'll be on our way to Texas, both fully vaxxed, goddamned right. Uh, we out here, fully vaxxed, um, ready to drink some fucking beer in a maskless-ass state. We're going to hit, hit up uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth area uh, Thursday, Friday, and... Um, know drink some beers bring some beers home and maybe take a little tour of uh losing football team stadium (laughs) this is our year (laughs) if they for some reason won the super bowl this this season we'd have to do a tour every year 
until they're lost. Yeah. <laughs> I have to. I'm okay with that. That'd be wild. God damn it, it's not going to happen. <laughs> not gonna happen and it, and i i kind of i think it's funny i i just assume that the tour is gonna be basically empty because of the combination of covid and um them sucking asshole last year so down for that <laughs> yep yeah should be, <coughs> give us some stuff to talk about um you know next episode as we cruise towards 300 all right That'll do it for this week. Jeremy, close this motherfucker down. That's going to do it for another episode of Pub Talk. If you like what you heard, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Give us a follow on social media at Pub Talk Podcast and check out our website, pubtalkpodcast.com. As always, never forget there's nothing in life too big or hard. You can't handle it over a few beers with your good friends. Until next time, just chill till the next episode. Mike.